Today's topic is Chagas disease. Chagas disease is an inflammatory infectious disease caused by the parasite protist Trypanosoma cruzi, found in the feces of the triatamine bug or kissing bug. Chagas disease is common in Central America, South America, and Mexico, mainly in rural areas where poverty is widespread. According to estimates, about 8 million people in Central America, South America, and Mexico have the disease. Most of them do not know that they are infected. In 2015, Chagas disease was estimated to result in 8,000 deaths. The disease may be acute, causing a brief sudden illness, or chronic, lasting for a long time. The Chagas disease, also called the American trypanosomiasis, can affect anyone and can later cause chronic heart and digestive problems if left untreated. Large-scale population movements, mostly from rural to urban areas of the world, have increased the geographic distribution of Chagas disease. Rare cases have been found in the southern United States as well. Causes Chagas disease is caused by the parasite Trypanosome cruzi, which is transmitted from the triatamine bug. These blood-sucking bugs get infected when they ingest blood from an animal already infected with a trypanosome cruzi parasite. Triatamine bugs can be found in houses made from mud, straw, and palm thatch. In the day, they hide in crevices in the walls or roof, then come out at night to feed on sleeping inhabitants, passing the parasite through their feces. Infected bugs defecate after biting and feeding, leaving behind the parasite on the skin. The parasite can then enter the body through the nose, mouth, eyes, a cut, or the bite wound if it is accidentally scratched or rubbed. Other modes of infections include blood transfusion, accidental laboratory exposure, organ transplantation, congenital transfusion from a pregnant woman to her baby, consumption of uncooked foods contaminated with feces, from infected bugs. Chagas disease is not contagious and cannot be transmitted from person to person or through casual contact with infected human or animal. However, if an infected breastfeeding mother has a cracked nipple or blood in her breast milk, the milk should be pumped and discarded until the nipple heals and bleeding resolves. Symptoms. In the acute phase, which lasts for weeks or months, Symptoms may exist or may not. When they occur, they are mild and include fever, a headache, body aches, eyelid swelling, loss of appetite, swollen glands, nausea, diarrhea, or vomiting, rash, enlargement of your liver or spleen, swelling at the injection site. The symptoms that are present in the acute phase usually resolve on their own. If left untreated, it may advance to the chronic stage. In the chronic phase, symptoms may occur 10 to 20 years after the initial infection. They may include irregular heartbeat, sudden cardiac arrest, abdominal pain or constipation, congestive heart failure, difficulty swallowing. Diagnosis and treatment. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will carry out a physical examination, questioning you about symptoms and any factor that may put you at a high risk of the disease. A blood test can confirm the presence of the parasite or the proteins that your immune system creates to fight the parasite in your blood. This is done if symptoms of a Chagas disease is present. Additional tests may be carried out if you are diagnosed. This is to determine whether the disease has entered the chronic phase and caused heart or digestive problems. Tests such as electrocardiogram, chest x-ray, abdominal x-ray, upper endoscopy, echocardiogram. Treatment. The goal of treatment options is to kill the parasite and manage symptoms. In the acute phase, FDA-approved benznidazole may be of benefit. This will be prescribed by the doctor for children ages 2 to 12. The doctor may also prescribe nifertimox. In the chronic phase, medications won't cure the disease, but may be offered to people under the age of 50 to help slow down the progression of the disease 
and its complications. Additional treatment may include medications, a pacemaker or other heart-regulating devices, surgery, or even a heart transplant for heart-related complications, diet modification, medications, corticosteroids, or even surgery for digestive-related complications. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.